Hello and thanks for watching. I'm Larry Humor from Novatech. In this training material, we cover one of life's most important questions. No, not that question. We're actually talking about once you've made the decision to add IoT to your products and services, should you build, buy, or integrate? Here's a quick overview. Your first option is to build, as in building a connectivity device to work with the solution. This is a common option for people who need to provide connectivity for a remote device or site. Rather than using an existing cellular modem, some companies opt to design their own device or possibly have a design house do it for them. The second choice is to buy, which means you are buying a third-party device that will provide the connectivity and services that you need to complete your IoT solution. The usual choice is a standalone cellular modem, but there are other options too, such as USB sticks. Your final choice is to integrate. This is where you integrate a module or an embedded modem into your existing product, usually directly onto the system board. This will handle all the connectivity for your device. All three of those are great options, but only for the right company and for the right deployment. If you make the right choice, you'll see a return on investment for many years to come. Unfortunately, if you make the wrong choice, all you're going to do is waste time and money. Here are some factors to help you make your decision. The first is to closely examine your company's ability and available resources. Integrating and building might seem like tempting options, mainly because it gives you the opportunity to not only create a product that your competitors cannot easily duplicate, but as well as the appeal of a lower cost per unit. But you need to honestly decide, is this the best way for your company to spend its time and resources? And will the longer time to market hurt your overall business plan? Speaking of time to market, this is definitely the second thing to consider. Using the buy option can definitely be more expensive per unit, but it will also reduce the time to market by at least six months and often as long as 18 months. For some, this enables them to keep projects in a much better timeline, which is often more important than the overall cost of the device. The third factor to consider is the volume of annual units you are planning on building. Much of the development and certification costs do not change based on unit volume, so the larger of an opportunity that you are looking at, the more appealing the business case of building or integrating becomes. The fourth consideration is the level of certification your devices and your solution might need. Devices that are being put onto a cellular network will require at least an industry certification and very often carrier certification. As well, adding connectivity might increase some of the testing required for your particular industry. And lastly, a minor consideration might be the availability of your resources ongoing. Integrating or building will require periodic work to integrate new software and hardware changes. And depending on how long you are planning to have that device in the field for, you may have to factor in required changes when parts are no longer available or when carrier networks are no longer running. Okay, so I just threw a lot of information at you. Here's a quick overview on when you should use each of the options and when you might not want to. The build option is often ideal if you are looking for a unique design or feature set for your solution that may not be available on the open market. This can be especially true if a design firm is able to use some of their existing development work to reduce the overall effort and cost. It does require a lot of time, certification costs, and effort, and can often require redesigns before your product is end of life. So it's best for companies that are doing a large volume of units with strong engineering departments. If the previous description does not sound at all like your organization, you might wish to buy. Using an existing modem or connectivity option will greatly reduce your time to market, will eliminate the need for certifications, and offers an easy migration path when newer technology is available. The downside is the higher cost per unit. So generally buying is an ideal choice for those who are looking to get to market quickly, those who either don't have the internal expertise or don't want to use it on this project, and especially for those who are doing a lower amount of units per year. And finally, to integrate is often the only choice for some organizations. If you do not have the option of using an externally mounted modem, or there isn't space to put one inside of your product or solution, then integrating connectivity directly onto your system board is usually your only choice. This does allow for the lowest cost per unit and the ability for you to have maximum flexibility over your application, but similar to the building option, it does take a while to get to market and you do have significant upfront cost of certification and design. So while the question of build, buy, or integrate is not as important as to be or not to be, it can be a determining factor in the success of your IoT solutions. Please feel free to reach out to the Novatech sales team as we've been doing IoT for over 20 years. Thanks for watching. I'm Larry Humor. Catch more of our videos on our YouTube channel.